you're watching this video, then closing day on your new home or property must be coming up pretty soon. This video I created just so that you could have a little bit of an idea of what to expect on the, at the closing table, as well as what you need to make sure to bring to the closing table. So let's dive in. All right, so closing day is the day that you'll officially take ownership of the home. This is when you'll sign all the documents, a big stack that they'll give you at the title company, so warm up your hand. You're gonna transfer the ownership from the seller into your possession. You'll receive the keys and you'll begin moving in. Yay! <laughs> But just know, this is one of the things that a lot of people don't realize, you don't receive the keys at the closing table. You're not gonna receive the keys until the sale is recorded at the courthouse. So in order for that to happen, both parties have to sign and your lender needs to fund the purchase. So you can't record at the courthouse until both of those things have happened. And then once the title company has informed your agent that it has been recorded, the agent can get you the keys to your new home. All right, on the day of closing, make sure you schedule at least an hour at the title company or with a mobile notary, however you're closing and signing your documents. Sometimes it goes faster than that, but that'll give you at least some time so that you feel like you have enough time to answer any questions that come your way. Now, what to bring to the title company? You need to make sure that you have your photo ID. Now. Just bear with me for a second. I want you to go and grab your photo ID. Take it out of your wallet, wherever it is, and check to make sure it's not expired. I've had a couple clients actually go to the title company and their photo ID was expired and we had to delay closing. So make sure that doesn't happen to you. Go get it renewed, make sure it's active, and you'll have a much smoother process. Okay, second thing to bring is your money. Okay. This will need to be in the form of a cashier's check or an electronic wire transfer. So the wire transfer you're gonna to want to arrange ahead of time. You're gonna need it to match the amount of your lender and the title company. They should both have that amount and give it and provide it to you. So reach out to your title company for any wire transfer instructions. And if you're planning on paying by check, it will need to be a cashier's check. It cannot be a personal check. So make sure that you get that ahead of time because if you're signing at eight o'clock in the morning, the banks aren't open. So prepare, arrange for ahead of time. If you need to know the amount, reach out to either the title company or your lender. And in the worst case scenario, your lender or your agent may also be able to help. Closing day or even earlier in the day, if you have an afternoon closing, you will want to make sure that you do the final walkthrough on the home. Okay, you need to make sure that everything is in the same condition as when you put the offer down and that anything that was included in the sale of the home is still there in its place and in working order. That can be a whole entire other video, but just make sure that it's done before you sign your documents at the title company, okay? All right, and the last thing, just for your information, if you're a client of mine, I do like to be present at the closings at the title company. So if my schedule allows, I like to be there. I like to experience um, those fun moments and also be there just in case there's any questions that arise. And there have been a couple times where I've been able to help answer any questions and make sure that the closing day process runs as smooth as possible. My name is Janelle Fowler. I'm brokered by eXp Realty. And I wanna say thank you for watching this video. Take care out there. Oh, 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 oh,